What's going on everybody? Happy Easter, happy Resurrection Day. Alexander here with High Winds EDC. Uh, we're gonna be doing a very special video today. Uh, special because it's been one of the most requested videos for the channel for the last year and some change. Um, well, the reason why I'm doing it today is because not only is it Resurrection Day, our Father who uh, died on the cross for our sins was resurrected today. Uh, so everything good that comes through my life comes through Christ first and foremost. But not only is it that day, but it is also my birthday. I'm 27 years old today and I just thought it would be special to do this video for today. So let's just get into it. Um, as kind of a birthday gift, I want to introduce, well, what are we doing? We're doing a state of the collection today, guys. It has been very popularly requested at least half a dozen times, which is a lot for the channel. That's at least 1% of the channel. So thank you guys for putting in that request. I haven't been stalling. I just wanted to be able to do it properly. So let's talk about what my carry is. Well, since it's resurrection day, you know I had to go all out with the colorful shirt. On the wrist is the Apple Watch Series 5. My wedding band is the Clocks and Colors Endless Bands, which I really love these. It's got a rattlesnake on it. Um, that's kind of an Ouroboros of sorts. On the wrist, we have a bracelet that my wife had made for me. It's got my children's name and my wife's name uh, engraved on two beads, on, on, the, on these beads here, not two beads. Um, so yeah, there's that. That's the hands and wrists. Um, we got uh, in the pocket today, we uh, are not doing the uh, uh, slip joint challenge. We're doing uh, the Oz Machine Company Roosevelt. We went ahead and forewent the, um, the slip joint challenge just for today since it is my birthday. It is a resurrection day. I wanted to kind of go all out. In that same pocket, we have the uh, Paradrop Leather Triari, all black, Sega Haya pattern, uh, urban, supply, urban EDC supply. Inside of that, we have Nipex Cobra pliers. We have the Glow Rhino pry bar. We have the tactile turn uh, side click, and we have the Raylite Pineapple Mini. We're gonna set that in the case for now, where I'm gonna be drawing from. Uh, we also have on the belt, belt, we have the Custom Apache by Pinion Knives. Uh, with the beautiful shield crest and the uh, what I've been taken to calling it the red dirt micarta um, just because I'm from West Texas. Back right pocket we just have a regular old cotton bandana that I got at the flea market. Other side we're gonna have this cleaning cloth so I can wipe down some knives and smudge marks and stuff and then in the front left pocket we have our um, I forget what this is called the fast mag mini by uh, south of Civil. Great little slim profile wallet. Great for front pocket carry. Uh, on the waist, we also have our sidearm, which is going to be the um, SIG 365 XL on the uh, T-Rex Arms holster and a Neomag alias clip. And then we also carry a spare magazine with an extra 15 rounds. So there's that. Uh, this is a Coyote tan color, which I really love. So let's see what I got for my birthday. This is really exciting. A new hat. I'm a huge collector of hats. Um, this one's going to be Army Green TX. Um, this is from the, let me see, I forget, the Texas Hill County, Texas Hill Country Provisions Company. Um, it's their Texas hat. Really excited about this. Let's see how it fits. Get that cardboard out of here. I'm not littering, I promise. But yeah. If it's a little weird we're gonna go ahead and wear it for now and then I also got this awesome cool t-shirt this is the front side it's got the Texas on a rattlesnake uh, army green color OD green color and then on the back side it's got it a little bit larger so yeah it's that's super exciting you set that up over here wear the hat it's got a good fit it doesn't really match the colors that I'm wearing right now but it's a good hat so first thing for, and foremost, this is going to be my most used thing every single day. This gets used every single day. This is my cat's tray. I got it here in Lubbock, Texas at a, at a farmer's market um, for $40. Uh, a great investment because I use it on my entertainment center in the, in the living, in the, in the bedroom. And it goes in a little corner where I just kind of dump my stuff. This has been essential for me for the last two years so it's my little catch-all tray I don't know who it's made by I should have gotten that information but it's been almost two and a half three years now that I've owned this so yeah great little thing it's starting to take on a nice patina of just throwing junk in here all the time whether it's my pocket knives whether it's my spare mag whether it's um, 
sunglasses, whether it's uh, keys, my phone, wallet, it all goes in here, kind of piled up. I would like to get one larger, but with where I have my EDC set up for my throw-in stuff, um, this is like the perfect size. So cool. Next, we're gonna actually get into my bags. These are the three bags that I use every week, every month. Um, we're gonna go into the one that I use the least, which is gonna be my little Eddie Bauer side swing. I got this at Eddie Bauer. I use this for like walking around flea market. I use this for um, putting a couple of tools in my car if I need to. Things that are very low maintenance, low reward. Next, we're gonna get into my gym bag, which is actually a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu um, bag. It's a, it's, a, it's a gym bag, it's by the 93 brand. It's got a lot of space so I can fit shoes in here. It's like a 30 gallon backpack. I could fit shoes in here. I could fit a whole uniform if I needed to. My Yeti goes in here. Um, I have a little catch slip right here. It's really nice that I put um, my headphones and stuff in here. Uh, at the top, it's got another zipper on the, on the opening flap where I can put like deodorant and stuff in there. And then it's got this catch tray where I can put nasty clothes in here. It's got this catch at the bottom where I can put socks, dirty underwear, um, dirty sweaty clothes. So that way it stays away from my dry clothes in the main compartment. And then we'll go to the bag that I use every single day for work, which is my Vertex. Uh, I can't remember which one this is, but I use this thing every single day for work. In the main component, I have, in the back component, I have a, uh, a planner that I use for work. And then uh, if anything, I'll put my extra magazine in here. Uh, I'm looking to get an alias hook and loop attachment so I can also put my firearm in here. I'm also looking to get in a small plate carrier or a small plate so that I, I can put it in the back and just have that little bit of extra protection. Uh, every now and then I'll put my, my uh, let's see if I brought it out here. I don't think I did. Oh goodness, which is my key bar. I don't, I did not bring it out here. Anyways, every now and then I'll put the clip of my key bar right here so that way I don't have to worry about it, but that's at the end of the day. Other than that, I'll either have it in my catch tray, that's my key bar work keys, uh, or I'll have it on this backpack. In the main compartment, I have a lot of stuff here. I keep my pouch, which is uh, by Null Knives. Inside of there has got some tools, a Vic, uh, Swiss Army knife, a Victorinox, another slip joint, a pair of small crescent wrench, and I keep my Olight Warrior Mini 2, my Leatherman Free P2 on there as well. I keep a memo pad in the back as well. Sorry, we're gonna get into, uh, gotta zip it up. A little memo pad so that way I can ride if I need to. And then we have a couple of patches. We have the Pena Knives patch, which is sent to me by my friend Damien. I appreciate that. We have the Zongang uh, patch by Peter McKinnon. And then we have a Blade HQ uh, Benchmade uh, American flag patch that I got whenever I bought a mini Adamus online. They sent it to me and I kept the patch. Inside there, I have my headphones as well. Got a couple of breath mints in here. I need to get a tourniquet and some medikit, medical equipment in here so that way I can have it on me at all times, especially since I'll be joining a new job. Let's see, I have a multicolored pen just in case somebody needs to borrow it. I have my um, Benchmade field sharpener. And then in this pocket, I don't have anything else. And that's pretty much it for that main component. I go in here and I open up. I have an extra, um, what is this, a holster. This is the one that I usually carry for whenever I don't have a holster for a certain weapon. This is just in case I need to take the, the light, the flashlight off or something and I can go discreet with this. I have a set of uh, yellow lens um, safety glasses just in case. And then in here I have my sharpening kit, uh, my takedown kit for pocket knives. So yeah, it's got some blue lube in there. It's got some Loctite in there. It's got the, uh, where is it at? Boom. It's got the work sharp outdoor sharpener and um, the bit set inside of it so I can take down most of my knives pretty quickly if I need to. I should have got my other stuff ready for take down. So those are my bags. And we're 10 minutes in. We haven't gotten to hardly any of the gear. We'll uh, go ahead and get into it now. We're going to start with the leather gear that I own, which is a lot. Uh, we're going to start with tail of knives, believe it or not. Some of the first leather gear that I reviewed on the channel. This is the Ace Clip, which I really like. Right now for the Ace Clip, I have taken off the, the um, key ring 
and I put it on my key bar because it's a little bit more sturdy than all of the other key rings that I have floating around. So this is really good. I really like it. I'm probably going to switch back over to this once I get rid of my other work keys and turn those in uh, since I'm starting a new job next Monday. So yeah, this will be um, probably my go-to and it'll be for like my, my uh, belt loops and stuff like that. I really like it. Next we have the first bit of Tail of Knives gear that I have. This is just a standard clip from Tail of Knives in OD green. As you can tell, it's patinaed a lot. This is a really good one. I have the elastic, which I usually had my Refineco EDC pen or my Fisher Space pen. Really like this thing. The next item I have is my Tuxedo Jax uh, in, I think it's Tail of Knives brown with the red stitching. I use this for my um, Olight Warrior Mini 2, my Refined Coat pen. Now I can use my tactile turn and then just an EDC blade um, that will fit in here. Um, and then of course, this was a gift to me from Tail of Knives um, after I supported them a little bit through the controversy that they had with Leatherman um, copying their products. Really Leatherman, you shouldn't have done that. Anyways, they, they sent this over my way for, with a 100% free coupon. I got to place the order that I wanted and they just said, hey, it's on us. Thank you for the support, which they didn't have to do. Tail of Knives, you guys rock. I appreciate it. I would fit my free P2 in here. I have since gotten away from carrying a multi-tool every day because I don't necessarily need to all the time, especially in my job. Um, my work truck that they provide for us at the state usually has a lot of the stuff that I need. So I kind of stopped carrying a multi-tool except for whenever I knew I was going to be servicing our flagpoles. If I knew I was going to be servicing flagpoles that day or if I was going to go make a round hanging them up, lowering them down, I'd carry my multi-tool on me. But now I carry it in my null knives pouch and if I ever need to, I'll just grab that pouch with me because that pouch has a lot of the stuff that I need for servicing flagpoles as well. So cool, we'll get into some of my wallets right now. I have a lot of wallets. Uh, yeah, we'll get into the wallets. Shoot, and the EDC organizers. We, still, we got a lot, guys. So this is my Valley Leatherworks um, minimalist wallet, bifold. Really like this wallet. This was my biggest EDC for the longest time. I kept coming back to this one because of the colors, because of the size, because of the slim profile, because of the pocket space. It had everything that I needed. Really love that wallet. Valley Leatherworks is by Hope McGlone. She is a local ED, uh, a local leather uh, maker here in Lubbock, Texas. So check her out if you're local to the West Texas area at Valley underscore Leatherworks. Great, great person. Um, next we have my Wilhelm Leatherworks uh, Bounty Hunter. This is such a great wallet. I don't carry it as much except for in the colder months because it's such a thick wallet. Uh, I can put it in like my lapel or something like that, my inside lapel. Right now, it just kind of houses my social security card and a couple of other cards and stuff like that. So it just kind of sits in the back until I really need it for a hot date or for those cold winter months. Next, we're gonna go into, this is a very similar wallet for, by uh, Kraft and, and Lore. This is their Ghost Cherry Bifold Wallet, which I really love because um, it's got the scarlet and black and I really like carrying this one around campus because it's red and black, Reckham Tech. I also just really like the amount of pocket space and I really love the Ghost Cherry Patina that it comes, that, that uh, wore into this beautiful, beautiful wallet. Next, we'll go with my uh, Rustic Heirloom uh, Carry Commission um, Hitchhiker Wallet. This is a very good wallet. I really like it. It's got a lot of prestige in the community, which is awesome. Now we'll get into what my personal favorite wallet is right now, which I already showed you guys, which is a good contender for what you get. You get the Fast Mag Mini and you have the Hitchhiker. I think the Fast Mag Mini is like gonna be like seven cards max, maybe eight so you could squeeze in there, but then you won't be able to fit cash. This one can fit a little bit more, but I like this one because it's got a much slimmer profile. I do love the button on this uh, Hitchhiker as well, but you can see you get a little lanyard, um, I guess it's called a grommet with this one as well, so you can easily pull it out of your wallet, uh, out of your pocket, your lapel, or whatever, however you carry it, your front pocket right here, just easy to grab. Same thing with the Rustic Heirloom. Next, we're gonna get into the um, South of Civil. I can't remember what this one is called. This was a gift given to me by my friend Tyler, texas.edc. He sent this over to me whenever he sold me my Vertex backpack. So yeah, I like this one a lot. I like it. I don't carry it as much. I used to only carry like social security cards, important information in this one, but now I use my bounty hunter for that one. 
but this one I do try to rotate in as much as possible I just don't have a lot of gear I haven't had a lot of gear that matches it so now that I have my new native 5 I can carry it with this no problem then we're gonna go um, I can't remember who this is by and it, oh, turkey leather foot turkey leather foot I bought this on discord and it doesn't really fit any of my knives so I'll probably be giving this one away but it's a pocket clip I thought I could use it for my custom pena custom pena is just a little bit too thick on all dimensions to really fit comfortably and to access comfortably so I'll probably be giving this away in a giveaway I don't know when but uh, I, I, I am due for a giveaway so we'll get into that now let's see what else do we have a staple for me are these uh, Milwaukee uh, ink saws. I really love these Sharpies. They really work. I carry like, like I have nine of them so just laying around the house so we can write uh, Sharpie whatever we need in a jiffy. Now we're going to get into the uh, organizer that I've been carrying a lot lately which has been the Mini Rambler by uh, South of Civil. I really love this thing and the reason why I really love it, there's a big reason, is because whenever I have my other leather gear which are like my, my paradrop gear which we're going to get into here in a little bit um i really like it because it doesn't have it's not so bulk, bulky bulky and i don't need a huge bulky organizer whenever i am lazing around the house and i'm just like wearing my my uh basketball shorts just kind of like my comfy clothing i don't need the, the, the paradrop uh triari weighing down my um, my basketball shorts and stuff like that so that's why i really use it like this I also really like it because I can switch it out. It's so versatile. I can carry a slip joint. I can carry a set of, uh, well, right now I have, I can carry a set of Knipex pliers. Knipex pliers, sorry, is the proper way to say it. I can carry a set of Knipex pliers. Let's see, I can also carry just whatever else I really need. And that, that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, there we go. I can carry a good one inch flashlight, which is awesome. I really like the, um, uh, what do you call this? Streamlight micro stream. There we go. Cool. So that's that one. I also need to say that I have this Tale of Knives Bandit, which is also one of my favorite wallets. I haven't been able to wear it in a while just because I've been going through a bunch of other wallets and I've been carrying uh, pocket knives on my belt. So I don't necessarily need this, uh, this pocket knife slip right now. But uh, I stand by the Tell of Knives Bandit. I got one of the first editions. Um, their second editions are so cool. I really like the, the Goblin Green that they've come out with and uh, holds up to about four or five cards. Uh, you could really squeeze in something. You could also tie a rubber band or a hair tie, which I have on right now, around this, and then you can carry some cash, a rubber band or, or a hair band. Now we'll get into the Paradrop Leatherworks gear. We're gonna go in the order of possession. So first and foremost are my, my first Triari, which is a Triari Small. It's got uh, just a leftover um, Glow Rhino Pry Bar in there. Uh, I, I, this is probably my most carried one. It's my favorite one to carry because it is small it, and it does carry things. What I need for it is a smaller pen. All of the pens that I have are like full-size pens. And so every now and then, just it, it's, just, it's just awkward sometimes. And then next I have my uh, Paratus, which is a really cool three uh, item carry. Uh, pry bar light uh, pen sometimes you can squeeze in uh, a slip joint in there which I do I, guess I I do my Apache slip joint and so yeah that's really cool let's see the knives that I have on loan are just is just one and you guys saw it it is the Jack Wolf knives um, Dogleg, the canine jack, which is really cool. I really like this knife. I used the heck out of it all day yesterday for food prep. I used it for opening up other packages and stuff like that. I really love this knife. I love it a lot. It's probably my favorite. The only thing I would change if I could, I would change this into some uh, natural canvas micarta uh, instead of the carbon fiber, but that's just me. Love this knife. I love the hollow grind on it. I love the blade shape. I love the handle shape. I love the fit and finish. This is probably one of my favorite knives that I think I've ever been able to test. So thank you, Refined EDC, for sending this over. And that concludes the uh, that portion. We also have a pair of Knipix 5-inch Cobra pliers. I really like these. I don't use them as much. They're more for like my robust carry if I have to put it on something else. But yeah, we'll go back in the next leather pouch that I got was my Paradrop Texas Triari. I love this thing. Thank you so much, Steve. Um, the story behind this one is me and my friend Tyler. We started our own hashtag when it came to carrying a Triari. Hashtag Triari Mafia. 
That's right. If you own a tree, Ari, something fell in my garage. If you own a tree, Ari, if you have an Instagram account, use the hashtag Triari Mafia. You are welcome to use that hashtag, but it has to be a Triari. It can't be a Paratus. All right. Um, but yeah, I love this thing. It's a lot larger. It's so large, it can fit my CRK Umnums on very comfortably. It's got a belt clip, which I really appreciate because I use my stuff a lot and every now and then I have to get into a muddy hole. Every now and then I have to get into something that's really nasty and gross and I don't want to ruin the leather. So I'll take it off my belt with the belt clip. I've also learned that you can wear it inside your, uh, your pocket, your left pocket, like this, right here. And then you can just kind of grab what you need if you need to. It works for the right pocket, but not that great. So yeah, I really love this. Thank you, Steve. And then of course, I was lucky enough and fortunate enough to show you guys the uh, Paradrop Triari from um, Urban EDC Supply with the Sega Higher Pattern, all black leather. I love this thing. I only carry this one for special occasions or whenever I'm working as uh, a uh, valet driver. So cool. Now let's get into all my fixed plates. Uh, we're gonna start with the most recent fixed blade that I have received, which would be this one. This is a big hoss of a knife, and it's great. It's got these beautiful micarta handles. It's very thick and robust, just kind of for a survival, survivalist type knife. It's made by Schrade. I really like this knife because my friend Daniel gave it to me. My friend Daniel, he asked me to house sit for him. I think it was last Christmas, this, this past Christmas. I house sat for him, received his email, held it for him not his email, his mail, his uh, uh, Amazon mail and stuff like that. And so he said, here, mate, have this, uh, 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 which is great, man. I really appreciate it. It's something now I don't really have to worry about finding a survivalist knife. Uh, thank you, Daniel. I love the micarta handles. I love the thickness and robustness of this. Let's see, what else do we have? I'm gonna set that over there. The next fixed blade I would have received would have been this one. This is a very beautiful knife. I think I told you guys a story on how I received it, but if not, uh, one of my co -work one of my workers, he was my guy, his name is Juan. He was like, uh, hey, can you sharpen this for me? I said, yeah, man, uh, just give me about a day or two. And it ended up taking me about a week uh, so I could finally get this thing sharpened. And uh, I got it sharpened and I went to give it to him. And he says, hey, your birthday's coming up. So this was last year, isn't it? He says, your birthday's coming up, isn't it? I said, yeah, man, here the April 9th or something like that. And he goes, well, here, I handed it to him. He said, isn't your birthday coming up? And he handed it back to me and he gave it to me. And I just want to say thank you, Juan. Once you get known as the knife guy, people start associating you with knives and they want to give things to you. And, and it was just a really nice thing. I want to carry this one more. Uh, I just haven't had an opportunity at Tech to carry it more because I've been doing a lot of reviews. But um, again, thank you, Juan. I appreciate it. It's a really good knife. It's made out of high carbon steel. So I just, and it's American made as well. So I just know it's going to last. Uh, it's called a Western USA W9 in D steel. I don't know what kind of D steel they're talking about, but there we go. Sorry guys, I'm trying to rush through this. Don't want my phone to overheat. If it does, then I'm kind of in a jam. Next one we're gonna have is probably gonna be the Ochre AK1. I was one of the first American people uh, to have a full review on this beautiful knife. I need to clean it off a little bit, um, but still one of my favorite knives of all time, uh, the Boker AK1 in burgundy micarta with the reverse tonto stone wash blade uh rwl no, yeah rwl 34 steel great steel and it came in a wilhelm leatherworks um sheath so yeah excellent knife i really love this knife i don't know if i'll be getting rid of it if i do i'll be give it, getting rid of it at a really good price so that way i can like fund something else really good knife really love it uh boker ak1 you guys need to check it out next is going to be my um Vox Knives MKM Micro. I really like this knife. This was another gift from my wife. She bought this one for me. This is the most, at work, when it comes to work, this is the knife that gets the most attention. Everybody likes this knife. It's a nice little EDC knife. Everybody's like, man, I need something that's small. I don't want a big pocket knife. I don't want a big folder. This would be perfect for me. Surprisingly, that's the one that everybody wants whenever I go to tech. Um, and then my last fixed blade for this feature is going to be my Fred Pirin Mini Bowie. I really like this knife. It's just nice, thick handle material, really robust. It's got a great edge on it. It's made out of, I believe, uh, a form of D2 steel. 
and yeah it's just really nice I have it with these um, ooh I can't remember the straps redeemed creations that's right redeemed creations leather straps for the uh, uh, scout carry style I may look into getting an ulti clip for it or something so that way I can carry this fixed blade again it came with a little Kydex mono block, which I, I hate the mono block, but anyways, here's this. Really like it, really good. Just great EDC knife. Um, and also a good self-defense knife if you ever need to. Not that I, I encourage self-defense knives or anything like that. Cool. Now we'll get into my pocket knife collection. Now this is just the bulk of what I have. This isn't everything that I have. I'd have to go and dig some more, but let's just get into it by order of appearance. We're going to go ahead and go with the um, Spyderco Native 5 Salt Series in CPM Magna Cut. I dyed the scales dark green, a RIT dye dark green, and this thing is just cool. I cannot wait to start doing a full review of it and getting this, this snipe the attention that it deserves, uh, putting it to use. I'm thinking about making a Frankenstein Native 5 by combining a G10 version and um, swapping some RGT scales on there. Next will be my... Let's see, let's just go ahead and go with the, uh, we'll go with another Spyderco. This is my Spyderco Delica. This was given to me by my good friend, Grease Monkey EDC. Um, Grease sent this over to me from Canada because I expressed that I wanted a Delica and he says, dude, I got one that's just hanging, hanging tight. It's got blue aluminum scales, aftermarket scales, VG10 steel. He did an acid etch on it, which is really good and it just takes an edge so good. I really like VG10 as an EDC steel and especially on the Delica because it's got a nice thin blade profile. Um, but yeah, thank you, Grease. Pretty much he just said, hey, pay for shipping. This is coming from Canada. It came out to be like 25 bucks. So thanks, Grease, appreciate that. Uh, next, we're gonna go with the greatest knife of all time. This is the um, Ozark Trail uh, seven inch folding knife with the uh, shaft lock. This is a really good knife. It's the greatest of all time. Uh, Self-cleaning washers, because it's got Teflon on it, and it's got a nice shaft lock. Great hollow grind. Awesome edge retention. <laughs> That's a joke, guys. Um, next, we'll go ahead and show. This is my brother's knife, but since he's in the army now, it's kind of my knife for the next foreseeable future. Um, this is a Kershaw Emerson, uh, I forget what model number, 6034 um, but you guys are very familiar with it it's a great budget knife it's made out of uh, I think it's like uh, 8 CR 13 MOV steel it's got the Emerson wave it's got a G10 uh, show side it's got Teflon washers and then it's got a nice rever ver reverse flickableness so really good knife I really like it for EDC um, I've sharpened this for my brother so many times because he just tears through it and uh, so I'll be holding on to it for him for the next foreseeable future this was originally my knife and then I gave it to him because um, I forgot why. I think he, he had started a new job or something. I was like, well, here, you'll need this knife. It'll be good for you. So he started that job and I've just been sharpening for it ever since. Then he went off to the army and I forgot to sharpen it for him and he couldn't have it anyway. So might as well hold on to it for him. Next, we're gonna go through my um, Apache slip joint. This is in a, a Jack Wolf's knife slip. So sorry, I didn't mention that earlier. But yeah, this is my Apache slip joint that my wife also got for me. Um, I really love this thing. This is my beater EDC knife. It's made out of K390 steel. It's got micarta inlays and it's got a titanium body. Really good knife. I took it apart, guys. I took it apart and it was a nightmare putting back together because of that spring. I'm sorry I did that. I shouldn't have ever done it, but now I know how to put it back together if I ever have to. So Apache slip joint by Pinion Knives. It's a knife center exclusive, this one is. And yeah, really good knife. I really love this knife. Okay, so we did those ones. Gotta take a breath, man. I should have brought some water out here. Now we'll do, I suppose, another pinion knife, which is the only other pinion knife that I own. No, it's not, because I got my custom. Anyways, sorry. This is my pinion knives moolah. I carried this knife for my wedding day. I carried this for my birthday last year. I carried it for my anniversary this year. Um, this is a very special knife to me because I think Crane's Cutlery only had a limited release of them, and I am one of the only owners. Got it off of a great deal because the person did not have the box. He threw away the box, or his wife did at least. So I got this in the secondary market, and this is going to be another one of those forever knives, as you can see. It's broken in so well. I only carry it for special occasions now, because um, I've done a full review on it and I just absolutely love this knife. Really good to go. Um, so yeah, next will be my Pena Custom, which is my baby. 
This is the Pinion Knives Apache in 154cm steel with the satin grind in that Mexican blanket. Uh, that Mexican, that red dirt blanket micarta that I've been calling it. Sorry guys. Um, trying to get through all this. It's got some beautiful red liners. Um, really just makes the whole thing pop. I love this knife. I'm carrying it today because it is a special day. Next, of course, I could not... I'll, we'll save this one for last because it's one of my favorites. Now we'll kind of go down. Uh, the only other Benchmade knife that I still own is my Benchmade 039, no, uh, 496, which is the Vector uh, Assisted Flipper. Beautiful knife. I really like it. Sorry. One of my all-time favorite knives. Um, it's got a compound grind and 20 CV uh, with a... Um, what do you call this? A recurve blade. Love this knife. It's a really good beater. It's a really good EDC knife. I just absolutely love this knife. I'll never get rid of it. Next, we'll go with my ZTs. We're going to start with the Emerson 0640 by ZT. It's got a CPM 20 CV satin blade, titanium handles, uh, can uh, I forget carbon fiber overlays, and it's a great, beautiful flame frame flame lock frame lock. So yeah, the action's a little. There we go great little knife um i actually I, I really like this knife a lot next will be my zt 0393 which is a hinderer collaboration it's supposed to be designed after the hinderer eclipse this is an s35 en seal with the stone wash blade uh, it's got black micarta overlays and it's just got a great action i really love this knife uh, I, I actually use this knife a lot for work and for EDC purposes. Uh, if I know I'm gonna just like, if I gotta go to Habitat for Humanity or something like that, and I just know I need to get a good tough knife, this is the one that I take because it does have that Sponto blade shape, the Harpoon Sponto. Next, we're gonna show you guys my very first pocket knife that I ever bought for myself, which is this, uh, uh, the K-Bar 110. It's a, it's a knockoff of the, of the, um, buck 110 or the buck 112 the large version and um, this is the first knife I ever bought for myself at a garage sale and um, it it's not it's got a lockback style knife but look I'm not putting any pressure it's pretty much just a glorified slip joint at this point because that lockback is so worn out and I'm not gonna send it off to replace it so this is pretty much all I got um, I put the new uh, I put a brand new fresh edge on it myself this thing is still a workhorse I just don't trust that lock so much anymore now let's see, what else can we do? We'll go to my Demcos. Uh, we're gonna go through this Demco right here. This was also a gift uh, from Christmas this last year. A little bit of a late Christmas gift. But this is the Demco 8020.5 uh, in Coyote 10 G10. It's got an S35 VN steel, which I had been waiting for for a very long time since the announcement of the very first Demco 20.5s. It's got the shark lock, which I really love. Thinking about taking off the clip and just running it like that. And uh, it's got a nice little lanyard. Um, so yeah, thanks honey. I appreciate this one a lot. Next is gonna be my Demco 80 20.5 Shark's Foot in Oz 10A Steel. This is one that my wife got for me as well. I swapped out the uh, Grivery Scales with some titanium um, rock scale design hexi scales. The uh, coloring that you see on it is actually Cerakote. It's a stone washed Cerakote that my friend Rocky Top Customs put on it. You got this awesome bead that my friend Tyler put on that he gifted to me and this beautiful lanyard and then the action is great. The reason why this one is special is because for my birthday last year, my wife had it engraved with our anniversary date on it, which I am so thankful for. She is the love of my life. She's my best friend and she just gets me. So yeah, there's this. Then we're gonna go into the Chris Reeve Knives Umnumzan, which is one of my favorite blades of all time. It's a boss of a knife. It's a man, manly man's knife. This one is in uh, S45 VN steel, titanium frame lock. It's got this bead that my wife got me for Christmas. It's got the rust lanyard and it's got this rustic bead. Um, it's got a fresh edge by uh, Nocturne Knives. That's a mirror polished finish on the Yakote and on the main bevel. It's got a beautiful hollow grind. You can write, you can see your name on this thing, man. It's so awesome. Really appreciate Nocturne Knives for getting that done for me. I want a book spot for that knife, for that, for that sharpening. And then finally, the last knife that I can have and own is going to be my Oz Machine Company Roosevelt. For those of you who don't know, this knife was gifted to me by a couple of really good friends um, who went out of their way to get me this for Christmas this last year. I carry this knife with pride, joy, and happiness as much as I can. I put it to as much use as I can. Right now, it is running on um, thick washers 
So this is the action on washers, guys. It's still like it's not gonna it's not gonna drop shut, which is fine. I don't care because whenever I'm at work, uh, it's not like I'm just like I don't know. I don't know what to say. But this is the action on washers. It does not have a drop shutty action on washers, which is fine by me. But I am doing it to test it out, and I will give you guys a report on those as soon as this test is finished. But yeah, this has got magna cut steel. It's a frame lock. It's got the tech the the Texas um, engraved onto the the scales, and on the inside it has proverb. Uh, uh, let me see. Proverbs 17, 17 engraved on the inside, which I really appreciate. Um, I really appreciate that. It's got bronzed hardware. It could probably do with another touching up, but uh, yeah. So guys, that is a updated collection video. Um, I really appreciate you guys for hanging in for 35 minutes. If you didn't, that's fine. Um, I just had to get this out because I, I really wanted to uh, post this video for my birthday, for Easter Sunday. And guys, I think that's everything that I have on me. So I appreciate it, guys. May God bless you. Like I said, all glory to God. Um, nothing good comes into my life except through Christ and Christ alone. And so I am. I can say that I am blessed to have to, and fortunate to have all of this gear. Um, most of it, like I said, wasn't even by my own accord. A lot of people have given me, gifted me, seen that I like it. I've, I've bought a lot of this stuff myself as well. But uh, at the same time, this is just all one big happy, happy coincidence and happy circumstance. And I, I can honestly say I am blessed to have this gear. If you guys have any questions, please comment, like, subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'd love to have a dialogue with you guys. I appreciate it so much. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day. God bless you. Bye now.